to the Andres the Fraser Boxing Po Show. Whoa, that was a terrible intro. That was really cringy. I, I should quit YouTube. Anyways, um, so you guys wanted me to do an uh, Ake Paul boxing breakdown. And um, I thought I'd just do it on the Ben Askren fight purely because it's his most recent fight. And um, I, I did do a breakdown for the Nate fight and for the Gib fight, sort of. So we're just going to get into it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Don't do that to this guy. Do the opposite to this guy. Um, this guy is just kind of here. Anyways, <coughs> sorry, acid reflex. Ugh. <sighs> Ugh, man, human. Anyways, getting into the... Oh, well, God, there is sound. I don't want to get copyrighted claim, guys. So, um, first thing I want to note about Jake here is he comes out, right, as he's, he's like, bouncing with Ben, because B- Ben's doing that, and then he kind of, like, moves his head around, he's moving his body around, and he's he seems like he's kind of hyped, he's kind of pumped to be in the fight! Um, but it is interesting that he does that, because I don't know if he was maybe thinking about his future moves or whatever, but he's just ready to go. So, Jay comes out with a stance that's a lot different from his brother. It's very much the traditional boxing stance, it's not hands down low, it's very much, um... Kind of, it's. I'd say it's mid guard, maybe. I don't know if that's a word. Um, again, I'm not a boxing expert, guys. And then Ben Askren comes out with this, this terrible stance. I mean, so wide, body is open, and then you'll just see, just, just watch. I mean, you guys know, you guys already know. So again, Jake loves to do feints. He just loves to feint you, and it works though. Ben Askren, Nate, Nate um, <clears throat> Gib. He didn't really do feints with Gib. I think the feint started with, um, sorry that my chair was squeaking, but I think the feint started with Nate, and they've continued on with, uh, Ben, and he knows how to use it quite well, and, um, I, I'll give him that, I'll give him that, he knows how to feint people, um, but I feel like if you know how to, uh, deal with, with feints of any kind, it kind of just is, doesn't make any, it, it doesn't really do anything to, to benefit Jake, but for Ben, it, it did work. Let me actually just mute that. That way, yeah. Like that. Oh, okay. So, so Ben Askren, at first, I was like, when I first saw the fight, I was like, oh, he's actually got a, an actual guard. And then, bang! Just a jab from, 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 from Jake. Just a pure, straight abs of jabs. And Ben Askren had no head movement in this fight. No head movement. He was quite literally, I think, is what you'd call the center line? Or he was directly across from Jake. Just prime... For a jab. Oh, and there it is. Just, just, yeah. And I mean, and then look at. Goes back to the same position. Does the same thing again. Body shot. It's like this Ben Askren. How, how are you a champion, bro? How are you a champion? I just don't get it. Um. And Jake has a very good jab. I mean, it's, it's pretty powerful. It didn't like. You know, I think KSI's jab seems slightly, like, <clears throat> a little bit more powerful than Jake's. But I, well, like, I wouldn't say, I think Jake's got more power in the jab. But I feel like KSI, like, can really make your head go back fully. Um, but, again, I, Jake likes, I mean, listen, Jake loves a slow pace. It's what he's used to. He doesn't like when you're constantly pressuring him and going in on him, he doesn't like this. So the pace that we are seeing here is where he excels. Boom. So that's a nice jab. And so Ben then comes forward, and Jake is very much taking his time. He's patient. And I will give Jake this, and I, I do think this is something that he has over KSI, is he is patient with boxing. You know, he goes for a body shot, he goes for a jab, he doesn't just go for the big money shot and just goes for the, the big KO instantly. You know, right here you can see <clears throat> he is thinking about what he's going to do next. If you look at his face, he's just very much being very calm and composed and just thinking about what he's going to do next. And then he goes in for a jab and then Ben backs away. And right here, um, and then he kind of just goes away. But he, uh, if if this was anyone good, if Ben Askren was like someone good, he could. I mean, Jake did a good jab, but Ben he could have gotten this glove and put it on his head because Jake goes into shots, but 
parts of his uh, head or body are like open. And we saw this with the TikTok event. And that was my biggest um, qualm with those fighters is that you leave a part of your uh, body or head open and exposed. And Jake could have gotten badly countered here. Like he could have gotten a nice shot here. And this punch could have been something that Ben might have had to have worried about or someone that was better than Ben. But honestly, Jake went back very quickly after this. So I don't think he was planning on doing anything with this with this um hand. But yeah, man, he was open to get a beautiful shot right to, right to the temple. But sadly, Ben Haskin just goes back. Yeah. And you can tell Jake is very focused. You know, he's not trying to brawl Ben Askren. He's trying to box him and be very technical with him. Um, and I, I do commend his ability to think while boxing. I think maybe the biggest advantage he has, in my opinion, is that he's able to box um, and think at the same time and think very, um, what's the word? Uh, constructively? Not constructively. Like, um, critically. Think very critically on the move, and I I am impressed by that. Um, now this we are go this this fight is going at a snail pace, so that's probably why. But then again, more feints from Jake. So this is the punch that uh, Roundhouse Radio has criticized. I've criticized. It's this I'd say looping, a little bit wild right hand shot. That Jake goes for. And every time, he gets countered. We saw this with Gibb. We saw this with Nate Robinson. Jake throws this punch, and he always gets countered. And that's why I said in my stream, if you guys didn't see it, is that Jake, I think, has a bit of a yes-men team around him. Because the fact that you are cons consistently doing the same move three fights in a row for a year, and you haven't worked on that, I'm like... I feel like this team might get might be getting a bit complacent. And Jake's getting these viral knockouts and they're getting paid, so why should they criticize him? And it's clearly something's working, so we don't need to work on this. But Roundhouse Roundhouse Radio is correct in that if someone is able to counter Jake's shot here and really hurt him, because Ben did more of a of a bunt or whatever too, so he didn't really hit him that hard. Um Jake could get knocked out. He could get knocked out by doing something like this and the fact that he's continued to do this three fights on shows me that I don't think his team is necessarily being 100% brutally honest with him. And I always consider it to be, oh, there he is, Yes Man Flores to be a bit of a Yes Man. Um, but yeah, this is Jake's most, I think this is the big gap we've seen in Jake Paul's game plan. He does this, bang, oh, and I, I, I think that went into the year, but then Ben should have followed, followed up on that shot because it was... Bang, and then you, and then it li literally his head goes down. So you could have easily just jabbed him or gone back into the chin, landed an ear shot. Like it was, it's open. And um, the a roundhouse was correct when Jake throws this. His whole head goes back. So Ben Askren had prime a prime target here. This was his time. He easily could that way when he th that uh, when Jake was here and then when he was right here, like his face was ex fully exposed. A jab, a punch to the ear. Just it was it was open season for Ben, and he just but he just didn't he was he didn't know what he was doing, and he was doing MMA boxing, and that's pure and simple. But that's Jake's biggest weakness. Again, more feints. And Ben was reacting to them. I'm wondering if... So he lands a, a combination... A, a, a two body shots. I'm wondering if Jake's... It's kind of like McGregor in a way because... Um, certain people have said that like Connor has like only a certain number of things that work. And then if he actually faces good... Um, you know offense from somebody he kind of loses it and i feel like maybe jake has only a certain only has a limited amount of things that he can do like the feints <clears throat> like the um body shots you know like how like if jake fights woodley and the feints aren't working does jake have another tool in his toolbox to use and i don't know and I, maybe not because i feel like the feints is what works for him but if it doesn't what are you gonna do then so again, just Ben Askren just taking these shots as if he's just having a, a field day here and Jake just going in for it. But you can tell that Jake is a bit hesitant to go into Ben Askren. I don't know if he was afraid and again, he's thinking, but Jake kind of was kind of going towards him and then kind of instantly going back, which is interesting. 
Um, because as much as people will say that Jake Paul has that killer instinct that Logan lacks, and he um, goes for the kill, I still think he does not like getting hit, and I think he doesn't want to... I, I, I think he's more willing to brawl and fight you, but to a certain extent. Which is, I think, the Paul's biggest downfall. And so again, he's just thinking... Thinking, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so Ben is coming around the corner. And again, Ben Ben just gets hit with the same shot again. It's like the dude did nothing. He was so bad. Like how like he literally just got hit with the exact same shot here, like over there. And he just didn't change anything. Um, although this stance from Jake here is you know, he's got his chin protected, his body protected. It's a good stance. It's a good stance. And again, a lot of feints from Jake in this fight. And then this is a... Bro, Jake goes running away when Ben Askren tries to do anything. Now, Ben was weak. He was... There was, like, literally no speed. I don't even know what you'd call this. He was just chasing Ben... Jake with his hand. But you see that he goes for Jake. And Jake kind of pushes him back with the jab. And Ben hits him. And then... He manages to avoid that shot. And then hit Jake in the clinch. But here's the thing. If this was someone that actually had power, he could have really put Jake on the ropes. And again, Jake goes in into his punches, so his head is exposed right there. His head right there is exposed. And if Ben Askren was in a better position, or he knew what he was doing, another open season. And that is Jake Paul's biggest flaw. And we saw that when Ben Askren tried to, you know, kind of come forward with some... Not technique, but whatever, but with some, like, with, with a form of, of going forwards, Jake Paul seemed to panic a little bit, and I'm wondering, can Jake Paul box um, on the back foot, and can he do good on the ropes? Because I don't know if he could. I don't know if he could. Um... Because I think people said that Connor is a, a front a front run a front runner fighter, and I'm wondering, is Jake Paul the same way? Um... And he just might be. Because he has a lot of success when he comes forward rather than when he comes back. Um, and he's not back on the rope, so he's not getting backed into a corner a lot. So again, this whole fight was Jake just doing a ton of feints. And again, I'm my biggest question is if the feints fail, what is he going to do next? Does he have another to tool in his toolbox, or is this it? And if this is it, I, he's not on the pedestal, in my opinion. And I don't even know what that... I don't even know what to call that. It's just so poor from Ben. I, It's just so poor. Now, I mean, if he actually kind of came forward, he could have landed a good jab. Because, again, Jake's face is literally open. But then Jake goes for a shot here. But, again, I mean, Jake just makes... All, and this, was some, this is what I say by what Jake's able to get away with stuff because his opponents are so weak. So, oh, hold on. I want to get to the point that I'm talking about. So wait now, Jake's face is fully open. And then this uh this is I think the left arm is not protecting this side. And if Ben and then Ben actually had no Ben didn't get hit with the shot, I don't think. He got barely hit. But if he had head movement or he came around when Jake threw this punch, Jake's face is fully open. It's because and that's because he and his biggest issue was he goes in with his shots with his whole body and to, I'd say a, a little too excessively because Ben just slipped and went the other way towards Jake face bang bang shot to the chin you yeah probably the only thing you could do was a shot to the chin um or a shot to like this part of his head but again Jake does this mistake multiple times in the fight <clears throat> and I don't know who's gonna expose him for it. But he's going to pay for doing something like this against someone good. And this is why I, I say I don't like that Jake and people in, pe people in general like Tommy Fury fight bums like Ben Askren or the other guy that he fought because you get away with things that when you're in a real fight, you're not going to get away with and do stuff that isn't going to work. So Jake Paul is really only doing himself a disservice by con refusing to actually fight someone good. Um, which I guess he is doing now, but we'll see how good Woodley uh, actually is. And then, oops. Uh, 
and we're coming. Oh, okay. So Clay gets him with a shot there. And you know what? I think this is a better because see, Jake is coming in without fully putting his whole body into it. He's going the other way, which is, I think, what he should do more of because I think that's what would keep him from getting caught in future fights. Again, another jab. Ben just coming forward and just not putting up his hands. No defense, no head movement. I mean, just it's such an easy fight for Jake. It's literally just touch and go. Ben Askren is literally the, a punching bag in this fight. I mean, I'm sorry, but it's that is what it, that's what it was. Um, so that was a good punch from Jake. And then Jake goes in, hits him with the body shot. And so, again, he's setting him up here. We know this. Now, this is a... Now, Jake kind of throws this shot out. It's coming up. So, Jake throws this punch. And again, where is your defense for this side of your face? Where is the head movement? And again, if Ben was taller, he could easily just come forward and counter you on the center of your head or just quickly go in this direction and just mess you up. Again, Jake leaves himself open so much. And this is his biggest gap. And again, I'm very calm. And we saw this in sparring footage that Jake just put out. Is that Jake Paul is going to do stuff like this against Woodley. And if Woodley can counter him good enough. And Woodley is way pow more powerful than Ben or Nate or Gibb. Jake's going to pay a price for doing this. And I think that if he's going to lose to Ty Tywin Woodley. This is how it's going to happen. Because again this is a huge issue for Jake. And I, I say this all the time. And uh, I'm glad that people are finally seeing that. Because it's, it's just not a good thing. It's a big flaw. And um, Jake might learn his lesson in the Woodley fight. And I mean, Ben, it was just, I don't even know what Ben was doing there. Uh, oh, and then he does a, a shot to the head. And I, I do think people underestimate Jake's power. I think he is pretty powerful. And again, Jake, what Jake, this is kind of what KSI does a little bit, is he make, make sure that his head is down or that he's got, he's got head movement here. And he needs to do, when he's coming in close range, he needs to make sure that his head is down, that he's doing something with the other side of his body because ben, no one, you wouldn't really be able to get to, to Jake in time. Ben tries to, but he, he fails. And then Jake does a, an, a big shot way to the chin of Jake. Uh, Ben Askren, but again, if he slipped that, open season. And then, jab, and then bang, hits some weight on the chin, and Ben Askren goes down. And again, I don't think Ben was hurt, I just think his balance was gone. I think Jake hit him with a hard shot weight to the chin, the chin, the ear, equilibrium, and that. You know, those are the punches that <clears throat> even if you uh, feel like you can continue, uh, your body just is like, nah. Because there were some punches, like, when Tyson Fury landed on Wilder, like, and he hit him in the ear, and, like, your, your balance is gone. So, Ben, I don't think Ben was hurt, and I know this is a controversial statement, but the ref stopped this fight way too early, because Ben Askren said in an interview, he was ready to come forward, and then the ref said, so he said, and then the ref's like, you okay, come forward. And then, as you can see, Ben has his eyes on Jake, not on the ref. And you can see he's in a fighting position coming forward. And there's actual videos showing that that's how Ben Askren moves forward in a fight. And then the, So I don't think the ref should have called it off that early. I think Ben Askren still could have made it through the first... Well, actually, I think he would have lost either way. I think he was safe from embarrassment. And, um, you know, the decision is the decision. But I do think this was an early stoppage, and I do believe that Ben Askren would would be able to take at least one more big shot from Jake and get back up again. Um, and I don't know why the ref would stop it, because, I mean, it's not like it's a TikTok and YouTube event. If it was a YouTube and TikTok event, I'd understand, but <clears throat> personally, I think the stoppage was too early, and I think that um, Ben was still ready, ready to go, even though he most likely would have lost. Um, and then we obviously see Jake Paul... Um, crying. We're gonna try and find it. Uh, yeah, that that's him. So again, I think Jake Paul's biggest assets is his ability to faint. He's got great power, good jabs. Um, 
when he wants to, he's good at head movement. Um, and I think his biggest asset is he's able to think while boxing and he's able to keep composure, not get lost in anything, and really break someone down by going to the body, by varying his shots up, which is something we don't see a lot from a lot of other YouTubers. And um, Ben Askren reacted to the feints quite well. And Jake Paul's uh, big money shot, it, it's lethal. And I do think that it, it's powerful. And it's kind of what is, it, it's kind of his trademark now at this point. And I do think that if you got hit with that shot, um, no matter how good you were, I think it would give you a bit of problems later on or when you got hit with it. But again, I think his biggest gap is when he goes too um, too much to his punches and he leaves himself open and um, and he doesn't really have head movement when he goes into those shots. And um, I, I say that's his, the biggest flaw I, I've seen with the Ben Askren fight and in all of his fights in general because he's pretty much dominating the whole time um, in most fights. And I think Woodley's going to be an interesting fight. But again, I think that if Jake is to lose to Woodley, um, the flaw, the big flaw that I talked about, I think is what would make him lose. And I think it's something that he's continuing to do, which shows me that his team might, I think, all yes men and are not working on stuff to actively improve Jake, which I think will be a huge detriment to Jake, along with fighting people that are bums, which is a, a disservice to yourself. Cause if you don't fight really good people or people that can come back at you and take your shots and all that stuff and what what and and what 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 has worked and what you can get away with you're not getting away with and it's not working and if Jake can't level up to that, I, I'd say that's on Jake because Jake realistically should have been fighting someone a lot harder than Ben Askwin in, in April. But anyways guys, I've been rambling for way too long. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment and uh, tell me what you guys thought. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the press conference, Jake Paul vs. Woodley. So, yay!